Hi Scorpio, it's L here to do your 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All right, Scorpio. So um, I've got your, your person's energy here, yours here, and then maybe some unknown energy here with the high priestess. At the bottom of the deck, we have the emperor that is governing the reading, the energy of the reading. All right, so you could have a husband or a very um, dynamic and maybe an older man in your life. Um, he's very, look, he's done a lot for himself. He has his own empire. Um, either you were a part of it or you are a part of it. This, this man is a... Um, I don't know why I'm feeling like he's single. He could be married. He could be couple. I don't. He could be single, but um, this this man is unmovable and rigid in in how he thinks and what he wants with this emperor card here. Um, and that's the energy governing the reading. Also, this could be your energy. Like, you're just not going to be moved in terms of um, your emotions. You know, you're taking care of yourself, self-care, uh, your home, your children. Also, the fours talk about feminine energy, your mother, mother of, motherly energy. So there could be some man who's focused on you. You could be the mother of his children, or he wants that from you. Um, this man is, this person, whomever this is, is dead set locked on you. Even though I feel like with you, Scorpio, especially if you're a Scorpio woman, it, the, the situation is closed. It, it's not up for negotiation. Um, you're closed off to this person. But this person is wanting, especially with the Four of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, they are trying to come up with a master plan in terms of how to get you back. And they're deadlocked on you. And this is what they want. They understand that it's going to take some time and some hard work. And they're trying to be as efficient as possible and dedicated. They, they're just rigid and dog-minded and stuck on, on getting you and having you. And, or this is how somebody, or this is how you feel about somebody, Scorpio. Um, there is a, a pause, a time for the both of you to take some time, think about what the future looks like with the four stores here. And your person is thinking about that, but they're also thinking about the offer of what they can offer you in terms of to get you back, to reel you back in. With you, Scorpio, you have the Judgment card, the Seven of Pentacles. I feel as if you... You've already made your mind up about it. And maybe it was kind of like a, a snap decision. Like, I don't want it. I don't want to get back. I'm good. This is this is over. I don't want to re revive anything from the dead. Uh, I don't want reunion. I don't want reconciliation. Because you are, or you were, absolutely, with the Seven of Pentacles, frustrated in this connection. You were fed up. You weren't getting what you wanted out of this connection but you were determined to see it through but there's like a, a break here or a pause I don't know if, if you're going through something or going through proceedings or something of that nature to where you can turn back or you can just keep going forward but I also feel as if you, Scorpio, feel like something is not up for negotiation. It is not up for a talk. We are good. I am done. Leave me alone. Or sign the papers. Or give me my money. Give me my return on my investment. The relationship is or it, it, or it was not going so well. 
But that, it looks like this card is on your side, Scorpio. So, you, but you were you were willing to see this through. But some, there's like a breaking point here, to where maybe you've changed your mind. You, this person made you feel powerless in terms of um, having the strength to actually turn this around. Because maybe this person was doing whatever they wanted to do. There could also be some uh, children or, or another woman here. I don't know. Um, yeah, this person just made you feel stuck. And you feel like if you go back into this connection, you will be stuck. Um they made you feel like the victim or or they're they're pretending or masquerading or going around and and trying to portray themselves as the victim here all while trying to plot and scheme come up with some way of trying to offer you the opportunity to come back together Also, there could be talks of, of money, of um, how do you settle the divorce or how much money needs to be given. And, and you're looking at future projections, especially if children are involved, you know, how much money I'll need to raise the children, something of that nature too here. But it just looks like the door is closed right now. And somebody's not wanting to reopen this or to open it at all um, also there's an intuitive feel between the both of you I think you know that this person wants you back or this person knows that look the door is closed with Scorpio but um, I'm still going to try anyway because I feel like if I put it in enough hard work and time and effort it has to be rewarded. It has to have to see some profit here. Okay, Scorpio. So if this reading resonates for you, let me know how it resonates down in the comments. Also, um, you can go to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. Take care.